Ignacy, can you tell me about Imperial Settlers Roll and Right? It's an engine building game, but Roll and Right. So we roll the dice, we get some resources, and then we have to decide how to spend them. Like in most engine building games, either building buildings to get new abilities, which is awesome, either just spend them on victory points because it's the goal of the game, get most victory points. So like in most of these games, very tempting buildings that you want to have them all. So you've kind of got a balance the same within as normal imperial settlers you got to balance that building of the buildings for the powers yeah. with getting those points and we and we made the game very quick so it's only 10 rounds okay so is that 20 minutes half hour yeah. something like that something like that and in a base base variant of the game very simple like we have five buildings only five options for you or just go to spending resources very simple if you go for the for the gamers gamers variant so the meaty one we have additional building and you have one additional rule of the shapes. So when you spend resources and you will go, you know, just crossing out the resources and moving out, yeah. then each of the buildings has a, has a shape. Okay. If you cross out this shape out of already crossed out things, yeah. these buildings work twice as good. Okay. So now for the gamer, for the geek, it's not only which buildings I want to build, but which buildings I want to upgrade so they work twice as good or even more because you can, if you want, you may cross once again and once again and get ridiculous with this building doing some crazy combo. So for the gamer, suddenly, it's only five buildings, change to five buildings, but I can multiply each of them and it's a bam, yeah. like how many So options? rather than like in the old one where you had big long line of like, 10 buildings, now you've got the one building. Maybe, but it is ridiculously it powerful. Yes, yeah. yeah. So this is so this is base uh, base game, but we have also solo variant, which I'm very proud of. It is called Adventure Mode because we went here crazy, and we made 48 sheets of paper, and each has different set of buildings. Like on lit literally, you have every this is standard okay, so one. Yeah, this these this are is for normal normal play, and this is for solo. This is like ridiculous. Have you got the kind of different factions? Like we have here, bar yes, we have barbarians and Japan and Rome. We, we use the factions from the from the base game. So when you play solo, each time you play, you have completely different set of buildings, and you have okay. So these buildings work that, and you have to figure out strategy. Next time, different strategy. Next time, different strategy, and it is super challenging for the players. It was a ton of work. But I hope that people will appreciate that. This is like so much new abilities and cool stuff. Okay. And so this is out now. This is at UK Game Expo. We pre-release, and the street date is in two weeks. So for okay. two weeks, everybody here has exclusive. And how much is it going to be? I think twenty-five euro. Like I don't know the prices. I know the gameplay. I know the gameplay. Does it come with the pencils? Yes, pencils. Yes, and the uh, yeah, additional tokens. There's one more rule that I didn't explain, but basically, yes, you get a lot of stuff because you have. Uh, this is three pets, yes, yeah. of tough cured dice, four pencils, and uh, some tokens. And, and will you be selling refill pads for this? So we will have the basic ones as a PDF just for you to download and, and play. Uh, so and this you'll one, never run out of the basic yes, one, and this one we will sell because it will be ridiculous to you know print it over and over again with different. So this one will be you can buy from our web store. Yeah. This one for free, just download, download. That's and really we will, good. And, and I, I guess you'll have different ones of those coming out in the ex future. Exactly what I was going to say. Like I really love this game, and um, I'm going to do it more because it's, it's so fun. So we are going to UK Game Expo. Let's do more. And, and so for some time, for sure, more content is coming.